I need people to know that like mental things are is scary. Like a big cherry. <laughs> big? Big? I don't know. I just feel so disconnected. Hi, I'm Amber Lynn Reed. I'm not a liar. I'm not a deceiver, and I don't manipulate people. On YouTube, I'm known as the most hated YouTuber. I don't cry for views. I don't eat for views. I'm not a narcissist. In our last episode of Shaped by the Algorithm, we had begun to notice that Becky was appearing less and less in Amber's videos. We saw Amber's shameful attempt at a 30 day weight loss challenge, only for her to forfeit on day 16. So I'm no longer doing numbers on my videos. We're just going back to, hi, vlogging, just showing my life. Of course. And we saw Amber pretend to take yet another break from YouTube because of the dislikes she was receiving due to her failed weight loss attempts. My thumbs up versus my thumbs down. Normally I don't care about stuff like that. Like I don't care about the thumbs up and the thumbs down. Um, I, I usually don't care at all. But... Amber was at an all time low in terms of popularity. And although Becky was not loved by everyone, she was much more popular than Amber overall. Amber would spend a lot of her screen time complaining about the dislikes, comments and being generally negative, whereas Becky came across much more pleasant. Yeah, so um, I have a real bad problem about making <laughs> eyes look the same. So how saucery as a human puppet, I just made it to where he's, he cracked right there. This is not finished just yet, but look, I actually did eyes. I'm really proud of myself. Maybe it's not perfect, but I'm just really proud of it. I used to do like a lot of weird abstract stuff that my, actually my mom liked a lot. <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, how typical moms can be. She, she liked my work, you know, oh my baby, <laughs> doing the best. Thanks, mom. Only you're saying that, but <laughs> I love my mom. She's great. Um... Amber had always been bothered by the comments that would call her out for her lack of effort when it came to her weight loss journeys. Now, people were beginning to call Amber out for her treatment of Becky. Oh, you should show them your weather thing that you got. I like tornadoes and <laughs> thunderstorms. <laughs> I love you. I like tornadoes. I like tornadoes and thunderstorms, and I wish I would have been a meteorologist or a, a tornado chaser or something to that extent. It's a weather band. So, like, you turn this mess on. <laughs> and news is it, what, what is that acronym? Like, it's short for something, it stands for something. <laughs> news stands for notable events, weather, and sports. Is that not crazy? <laughs> That is so You're just so amazed, aren't you? Yeah, it's like mind blowing. Any video that starred Becky was full of comments that mentioned how unhappy she seemed. Amber told us she didn't read the comments anymore. However, by uploading a video titled, Is Becky Really Happy With Me? Amber proved that she did in fact still read the comments. People being like, are you happy? Are you okay? And I don't answer them because yes, I am happy. If I wasn't happy, I wouldn't be with you. Yeah. Like, you know. What, but like 
just because Amber was done with her 30 day challenge and done numbering the days did not mean she was done with wanting to lose weight. All right, so I wanted to show something to you. I actually am setting myself a goal weight. Um, well, it's like a goal weight by a certain date. <laughs> Usually when I do things like this, I always fail, but I feel like I'm just, I don't know, I feel a little bit different. So my mind is clear, my body is ready. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel like I could do this. My goal is to be 465 pounds by June 29th. So, I don't know you guys. What do you guys think? I think today's the 7th. Baby, is today the 7th? It's the 9th. It's the 9th? Yes, our oh, happy anniversary. <laughs> Amber was giving herself around seven weeks to hit her new goal weight. Though most of her audience were convinced this was yet another futile exercise by Amber, Amber was convinced it would happen for her this time. I wanted to end this vlog, but I just want to give you guys an update on how I've been doing. I've been doing really good. Two days in a row now. Two days in a row now, um, I have ate about 2100 calories and... Amber may have started off well, but we all knew her MO by now. So we just went to Yamato's. I don't like to finish it all because I like to have it for leftovers. I feel like I was really close to the camera. So now we're gonna go grocery shopping. Boo. Watch me fall. You don't want to? No. Oh. We don't need food. To oh, no, we don't need food. <laughs> we don't. No. So I went grocery shopping today. My whole plan was not to get on back, get back on track for a few days, but I was like, mm, I'd rather not die. So stopping to get some dinner at Sonic. Um, um. Today I weighed in at five hundred one point zero. I am just going back and forth between the same three pounds. <laughs> Whoops. I'm just not trying right now. And um, I get a lot of hate to begin with. So I'm just gonna say it how it is. I'm not fucking trying right now. Um... Amber's weight loss journey had been such a disaster thus far that people were even starting to suspect that it had all been one big joke. There's also a topic in my trolling. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. I don't know, like, how could I possibly troll you guys? I'm not that smart. And it just kind of sucks that, like, my true issues regarding, like, my weight and stuff is looked at as trolling. That's so weird. That's so weird to me. I've, I've come to the terms of, like, I just don't care anymore about what people think or say about me. Because Many thought Amber was trolling, and it was easy to see why. So I joined Weight Watchers last night. Um, I weighed in at 508.6, 508 508.6, 508.6, 508.6, and that, it clicked for me differently than it has been. I was just like, are you for real? Are you for real? I gained about eight pounds in two days. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of wanted to update you guys on that and just let you guys know I'm not giving up. Don't be worried. And I feel like this new Weight Watchers plan is gonna be really good for me. <laughs> so I'm excited. For as long as we had known Amber, we knew the comments got to her. Despite however many times over the years, she told us she just didn't care. She was though wanting to get a few things out of the way in the hope that she would never have to explain these things ever again. As you guys know, I have not been reading the comments on YouTube, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, this is stuff that's talked about in the YouTube comments. It's also stuff that gets tweeted towards me, um, DM'd towards me, and everything else. All of these topics, I just want to be dropped, like just stop asking, and it's just pointless. It's honestly pointless. So, 
Uh, the first one is, do you even want to lose weight? Obviously, <laughs> I do. What's with your fake accent? It's not really a fake accent. Are you gonna go back to the gym? My asthma has been really bad lately, and if I'm gonna go to the gym, I wanna stay longer than 10 minutes. So I'm trying to build my stamina first. Next question is, are you still in love with Destiny? No. Next question is, do you wanna be on my 600 pound life? No, I do not want to be on my 600 pound life. Would I be willing to do it? Maybe. Who doesn't want free weight loss surgery? Um. Did you, okay, this one, oh my god, it's so annoying. A lot of these are annoying, let's be real, but. Uh, next question is, do you have a sex life with Becky? Obviously, I'm actually a very horny person. I'm actually a very horny person. Um, did Twinkie go to her grooming appointment? This is actually something that I'm just like, ugh. Okay, so Twinkie had a grooming appointment, ready, set, and scheduled. But someone in Becky's life really needed help and we had to actually cancel Twinkie's appointment. Next question is, do you think Becky, Eric, and Ricky are enablers? They don't help me on my journey, but I don't expect anyone to help me. Do you really read the hate comments? I know there's like conspiracy. No, I do not read the hate comments, so that's the question. I mean, that's the answer is no, I do not. I've not read comments in a very long time. Were you really diagnosed with binge eating disorder? When I was 16 years old, that was one of the times that I was in the children's shelter and my therapist, it might have been in passing, but she did say this is binge eating disorder. Okay, <laughs> oh my God, this question to me is the worst. How do you clean yourself? You guys, <laughs> this is funny to me. So when I clean myself, take off my clothes, take off my bra, take off my panties, turn on my shower, and I walk in that motherfucking shower. I shower just like everyone else. I do it all by myself. There are no sticks involved. There is no Becky involved. Um, I know for a lot of people that's hard to believe, and that's sad. That is so sad that that's hard to believe. Um, if I could physically show you, I would show you. Um, next question is, who's your favorite YouTuber right now? Definitely Shane Dawson. I'm loving his series. Oh, I love you too. Oh, I love you too. Now shut up and twerk. Uh, does Becky work? Um, she's currently just doing YouTube with me. And how much do you make on YouTube per month? Last month, I made over $10,000. One comment that Amber often received from her audience was about Becky looking unhappy. She didn't appear to be the Becky we had gotten to know just months ago. Many thought it was due to Amber, though there could have been another explanation. How you feeling? I'm so sleepy. Are you? Yeah, they got me clonidine at the Thank doctor's you. office, so it's got me really like, I want to go to sleep. Oh. Yeah, at Walmart, she was like, I'm getting really tired of like the medicine kicking that in. Medi no, that medicine they gave me was not for blood pressure, it's for anxiety, it's to calm me down. Well, you don't need to be calmed down, you need to be calmed up. I know, she's like so mellow now. Did you glam up? Anyways, Stay Becky's fair. wearing two different socks. <laughs> <laughs> Becky was now on medication to calm her down, and the medication seemed to be doing its job. Babe. <laughs> You tired? Aww. Do you want to talk about your doctor's appointment? Oh yeah. How you went to the doctor and stuff? I went to the doctor. Um, I'm on. It's a depre antidepressant. Um, today. I mean, yesterday I took it. Today, I took it, and I don't know if it's like with the mix of my blood pressure medicine. Sorry, I need to charge you real quick. Keep talking. I don't know if it's the mixture or what happened, but it like really made me feel really weird. I still kind of feel weird. Like I was spacing out. I wasn't making much sense. I wasn't doing a whole lot of talking. Amber told us this was it. This time she was going to lose the weight. And as well as doing Weight Watchers, she was going to be more active to make that happen. This meant going outside more. Amber, Becky, Ricky and Eric all headed to a lake to do some swimming. Amber was enjoying being in the lake, but judging by Twinkie Star's cries, she did not. Put it under a towel. Put it under a towel. No way! <laughs> 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 
Weight Watchers and being more active were quickly helping Amber show off her results. Um, I weighed in at 508.6 and today, five days later, this completely shocks me. Are you guys ready for it? 493.4. So I'm down 15.2 pounds, you guys. 15.2 pounds. And I'm going to blame it on, you know, water weight. I'm gonna blame it on me swimming for three plus hours the other day, but I'm also gonna blame it on the fact that I am following program. If I could do it, you could do it, let me tell you. Losing weight, plenty of fresh air, having fun swimming with her friends. What could go wrong? So the last time we went swimming, um, it was about an hour and a half away from where we live. And um, when I go swimming, as you guys know, I wear like full-fledged clothes, I wear like a shirt, I wear pants and stuff. And obviously I'm not, after I'm done swimming, I'm not gonna change my clothes in front of everybody. So I wore super wet, obviously clothes, heavy, cold, freezing clothes. I was in cold, freezing, wet clothes for over two hours, easily almost three. Just being in super cold clothes and being freezing, I guess it gave me a cold. Um, like the first day, it was so bad. Like I was wheezing and it was just a really bad cold. I'm taking medicine about three times a day. Amber, through her own poor choices, had made herself sick. To cheer herself up though, she decided she would purchase a brand new camera to record her vlogs and a brand new MacBook to edit. Amber was, after all, making around $10,000 a month through YouTube. Amber had revealed to us earlier that Becky had quit her job and was now doing YouTube full time, but something didn't seem right. Becky still wasn't appearing in videos very much. Most of her appearances were her in the car driving Amber. It seemed more like she was the paid driver rather than YouTube partner. It was also clear who wore the pants in the relationship. Becky needs like pitch black, dark, but you've gotten me to that there's point There's a uh, straight light right outside this window. <laughs> Becky has to sleep in the pitch black. The blankets and sheets were off the windows. I was just like, this is like a whole new room to me. So bright and just airy and I don't know, I just prefer it without it, but that's just what Becky likes and what she's used to. So I'm hoping that we can actually, I don't know, talk her into not doing it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I'm I'm not a selfish person. Like I want her happy and I want her to do what she, she likes to do and like I'm just gonna go with the flow, but it was just really nice in here and it was really bright and um, I actually talked Becky into um, not putting up the blankets on our windows. So we have two windows in here that are open and I'm super happy about it. Um, so we've been always doing what you want to do and going where you want to go. Babe, that sounds so bad. Well, I mean, I always give in, don't I? Amber was doing well with her weight loss but she still had a long way to go. No judgment. Um, I still have to buy a seatbelt extender. <gasps> Baby, maybe we can get one of those today. Yeah. Um, Cause the seatbelt doesn't fit me. I know that's bad for caution. I know like the whole. Amber had lost 15 pounds in five days. However, her audience knew something was up when Amber did what she always did when she would begin to gain weight. She went quiet about her weight loss. I've been keeping it private. I'm doing really good. And that's why I'm keeping it private. Because yeah, pretty soon, I wanna start talking more about, you know, my weight loss and stuff, but people are just so judgy. Like, this world is full of just like negative people. And I'm just like, I promise it's okay, you guys. Like, you don't have to be so like, Negatoris. <laughs> Amber told us she did better with her weight loss when not sharing it. In reality though, this appeared to be the complete opposite of what was happening. Right here? Okay, wait. Let me get in like a good position. 
Okay, you have to show like the whole, we're trying to do a thumbnail, you guys, because we're being honest. Okay, do like the whole um, cart. Should I like look down or what should I be doing? Okay. Let me see it. <laughs> Uh, what in the world? Do you think that's okay to do? <laughs> do you want to yeah. do that one? Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so send that to me to my phone. Okay. It's cute. Me and a freaking scooter. That is not cute. That's why I'm trying to lose weight, because it's ridiculous. Both her critics and supporters were noticing Amber's weight gain. Even the general public couldn't help but notice Amber's immense size. Amber had not realized that she had been referred to as a beanbag by a passing stranger, and it took a message from one of her viewers to bring it to her attention. So do you not care that the guy walking into the Chinese restaurant called you a beanbag? I had to reread that at least 10 times. I was like, what? Fat shaming is not okay. Um, any type, of, any type of shaming is not okay. Whether the shaming is because of someone's hairstyle or because someone happens to be homosexual or because of someone's skin color. So I replied to the person and I said, what makes you think that was directed towards me? Because the guy was talking prior. I just feel like it's just not fair to be judged based on my appearance and I kind of just wanted to vent about that. Don't judge a book by its cover, honestly. And if someone did call me a beanbag, then by all means, I'll be a damn beanbag. Beanbags are comfortable and I'm cool with being comfortable. <laughs> Not only was Amber now suddenly silent about her weight loss, but almost every video she did involved her eating unhealthy foods. I don't know, like I have the worst thoughts in my head, like, oh, am I dying? I don't know, I think just a lot of people get to me and like any little small thing that's wrong with me, I'm just like, am I dying? So that's where I'm at right now, like, am I dying? <laughs> Cause I don't know why I'm nauseous. It really could be because I ate really, really bad yesterday. Um, I had Taco Bell and then I had Mexican and then I had a whole bag of chips and a whole box of gushers it was it was it was disgusting but i feel really bad i'm having like heartburn which i know is from the taco bell because it started after the taco bell yesterday and i'm just feeling like crap hi wow. how are you doing oh. <laughs> you're so cute so i'm gonna go have mcdonald's I know that's really bad. Um, we're thirsty, so we're gonna go stop somewhere, get something to drink, maybe like a little snack, cause it's been hours since I ate. I know I have leftovers in the car, but we have a long ride home. I'm fat. On a Wednesday, we decided to go to a Friday's. <laughs> Isn't that funny? When I lose my cough, I want to start going back to the gym. Me and Becky are like super excited for that. Despite eating terribly, Amber still wanted her credit from the public. Um, oh, and give me props. I really wanted McDonald's, but I didn't get any. Yay! <laughs> little changes, you people, little changes. Not only did Amber now flaunt her unhealthy lifestyle, but we also got to see her get lazier and lazier. Hey guys, so I literally slept in what I wore yesterday. That is a true fact. Not gonna sit here and lie about it, but it did happen and I'm still currently wearing it. So, so I know today's video was 
super boring um i didn't do anything i just stayed home which is very rare i usually leave the house daily for whatever but this video was kind of all over over the place and i feel like pretty much pointless to be honest but it's filmed might as well go up <laughs> She had not mentioned her weight in around two months. Finally though, after receiving a wave of comments asking for her to address the situation, Amber obliged. I do want to say something first. This channel is not a weight loss channel. Last time I talked to you guys, I was on Weight Watchers and I had lost 15 pounds in five days. With Weight Watchers, it was allowing me to eat very unhealthy. It was allowing me to weasel in a pint of ice cream. Um, I had McDonald's 20 piece nuggets twice in five days. Um, so it was allowing me to eat very unhealthy, which I wasn't liking, but I was still dropping the weight, which was crazy to me. Um, so after about five or six days, I actually gained 10 pounds. I was very upset and I was like, honestly, F Weight Watchers. I so when I said F Weight Watchers, I decided to go on a 1600 calorie restriction. Restriction is such a scary word, and it should be, but so is death. Death is also a scary word, and that's what's gonna happen to me if I don't lose weight. So my plan of action for now is to go back to 1600 calories a day. Please, nobody give me advice on it because I don't really care, but I want to start, you know, also drinking more water. I'm still so I also wanna start exercising three times a week. I want to keep it slow. I don't want to push myself. I don't want to overwhelm myself. I don't want to hurt myself. I am just getting over a really bad cough. Um, I'm going to weigh myself tomorrow. So I might film that. I get a lot of backlash with my weight, but I mean, whatever. So I might film that. Okay, so I just waited myself and I weigh 500.2. The plan was that I was going to be counting calories and so many people were inspired with me doing the Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers program is amazing and I feel like I let a lot of people down by quitting. I haven't canceled at all. So since I haven't canceled, I am going to keep trying on Weight Watchers because I don't want to let anyone down and I know there is pros and cons to any weight loss, but I feel like me starting off such low calorie at 1600, it's going to be bad for me in the long run. So I'm going to keep doing Weight Watchers and I hope to inspire people like I was doing before until I fell off track, which I plan on not doing. <laughs> Amber said she wanted to inspire. So, how did she inspire in her very next video? Uh, Becky and I are gonna go to Lexington today. And I know this is like a fat shaming joke that everyone talks about, but yes, we are going to the Cheesecake Factory. I get the orange chicken. Bam. What's funny? You over there. People are like, why do you keep doing duck lips? It's just a habit. I, I honestly don't know. Oh, I think the guy's coming out. Oh, God. Hi. Hi. I'm Troy. I'll be taking care of you. I'll have Coke Zero. Sure. Uh, I'll take uh, back to bedroom. Sure. I'll get those drinks and some bread for you. Thank you. So here is my food. Oh, my gosh. This is so good. This is like white meat orange chicken is the best so i did eat a lot you guys but i wanted some ice cream so i'm just gonna get a little bit of vanilla ice cream and becky wanted cheesecake so we both got a to-go thing another cycle was almost complete Amber would start a new program, start off doing well, fall off track, keep quiet about her progress, then confess she had not been doing well. And for the final piece of the cycle... I understand constructive criticism. Like, I love constructive, criti constructive criticism. 
I love it. Like, I'm totally fine and down with that. Like, give it to me. All the criticism you can. But it's like, um, there's a difference between, like, just rude criticism and, like, nice like non-judgmental criticism and I know with this video the comments are gonna explode the thumbs down is gonna explode because people think it's okay to kind of judge other people's lives and their decisions I'm afraid because I don't read the comments I'm afraid of what is said about me I don't read the comments like if I get tons of thumbs down on a video that's it doesn't mean that's a disliked video because I feel like there are people out there who just do it to get a rise out of me. What I'm trying to tell you guys is I'm done. I am done with what you say, with what you ask, with what you wonder. I'm done counting calories. I am done doing Weight Watchers and values of points and values of calories. It makes me feel like this is my mental. This I am becoming so mentally overwhelmed that there's no possible way that I can count points right now, that I can count calories right now, or anything. This is what is causing me to binge. Sing it with me. This is what is, like, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, Amberlynn, no. Oh God. I know people are gonna tell me I'm making excuses. I know people are telling me I'm nothing but a failure. I know people are going to be telling me you're about to be 600 pounds. I know people are telling me I'm about to be bedridden. I know all of these things that you guys are telling me. I'm telling you I'm done with that sort of mind frame. I'm done doing anything. That makes me feel like I can't succeed. I have probably lost, not even exaggerating, a thousand pounds in my lifetime. I know how to lose weight. I have the knowledge. I have been doing this for so long that I have built the knowledge. And it's almost as if like, I need to start a damn class, but it would be irony. Like the, it would be an ironic thing, I swear. Like a fat girl teaching a nutrition class, like it would never happen, but I have the knowledge and I have the knowledge I'm not supposed to be eating like whatever I want I'm not some jock in high school playing football like <laughs> they can eat whatever they want I am going to eat whole healthy foods lean meats a little bit of fruit <laughs> I can't do a lot of fruit you know <sighs> some people call this intuitive eating that's not really where I'm at with that because a lot of people look down on intuitive eating because yeah but I don't want to sit there and be like oh my god I gotta freaking count every single broccoli calorie I know what's healthy I know what I can put in my body and how much I need of it I'm rambling so I hope you guys are rooting for me instead of being mad at me but I have to end this video it's super late at night and I hope tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and be proud of my decision because I already feel better. So yay, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.